Natural Remedies for Hay Fever Hello and welcome to Simplify Health. So why does hay fever occur? During the spring and the summer months nature awakens, and it can be the most lovely time of year. But for those of us who suffer from hay fever and allergies, spring and summer couldn't symbolize a time of apprehension as we prepare for symptoms to arise. Hay fever is an allergic reaction where their immune system overreacts to pollen released by plants and some trees. These pollen particles contain proteins that cause irritation, inflammation and swelling of the sinuses, but can also affect the eyes and throat. This pollen causes the body to create an inflammatory mediator called histamine. And this histamine is what produces the symptoms of hay fever such as sneezing, watery eyes, genus, swelling and inflammation of the sinuses. Here are some natural effective remedies you can use at home. Turmeric. Turmeric is spicy, hot and stimulating and the combination of these verbs won the digestion and improved nutrient uptake. Turmeric is anti-inflammatory and thus combats the inflammatory symptoms of hay fever. Ginger. Much like turmeric, ginger is another powerful anti-inflammatory. It is also a specific remedy for allergies and colds. Nettle. Nettles may have the ability to block histamine activity and reduce inflammation. Histamine which is the key component of the allergic response is broken down by the liver, therefore supporting liver function with herbs like nettle, can be helpful for managing hay fever symptoms. Peppermint and licorice. Peppermint is great for, for reducing congestion of mucus in the nose, and relieving a heavy head. Licorice is known to soothe the lungs and throat while also acting as an expectorant. Elderflower. Elderflowers are traditionally known as nature's medicine chest. Elderflowers can dry mucous membranes lining the nose and throat, minimize sneezing and runny nose. As a comforting herbal tea that soothes the throat and could provide relief from your retailing symptoms throughout hay fever season. Drinking one or two cups of elderflower licorice tea could help reduce the symptoms of hay fever during particularly troublesome weeks. Chamomile. Making a chamomile inhalation with steaming hot water might be a helpful technique if you're suffering with hay fever during allergy season. The way this works is by clearing excess mucus out of the lungs, as well as reducing inflammation. Vitamin C famous for supporting the immune system may help reduce histamine levels. It's important to support the balanced functioning of your immune system during hay fever season. Consider taking vitamin C supplements with bioflavonoids, as this could reduce the severity of hay fever symptoms. Remember to drink plenty of warmer hot water with grated fresh ginger or honey, as this will help to digest toxins and regulate digestion. Eat foods that are warming and nourishing, but also easier to digest like soups, simple grains and leafy greens. Check the online reports for the pollen count in your area, and stay inside on days when the pollen count is high. Keep windows closed at night as you're sleeping. Try to minimize or completely avoid foods that cause mucus production, such as dairy products, wheat and sugar. Wash your face and hands after being outside. If symptoms are particularly severe, use a saline nasal spray to rinse out your sinuses once or twice per day. Sometimes having to blow your nose constantly causes redness and irritation underneath the nose. This is when it's good to apply a thin layer of Vaseline inside the lower nostrils, as it combats hay fever and reduces irritation. Also, Vaseline can stop the pollen entering the nostrils. Do you see yourself doing any of this to improve your health? If so check out our number one health recommendation in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more daily health tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.